What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and welcome to another quick, and this time rather unexpected, Overwatch news update. Today, rather out of nowhere, Blizzard suddenly introduced the new competitive 6v6 elimination mode, which is playable right now in the arcade. So, in this video I'm gonna real quickly go over all the details that we know about this brand new game mode, and then share a little bit of my thoughts about why Blizzard is seemingly doing such a strange thing. So for starters, this new game mode first appeared in the arcade with this week's set of new arcade game modes. Of course, they reset on a weekly basis along with the arcade loot boxes, and so it was quite a surprise to see this brand new one, which at the time we had never even heard of before and only knew about through the teased slash leaked sprays which were in the hero gallery. We didn't actually get any official comment from Blizzard themselves until literally I started recording this video, but according to Overwatch developer Scott Mercer, this is going to be a competitive 6v6 elimination mode with all the same rule sets as the lockout 6v6 elimination, including all the same maps, along with Ayutthaya. The season will run until May 8th, so about three weeks, which is what we've seen in the past with limited time competitive modes that were tied to events, such as Lucio Ball and Capture the Flag. This mode will, of course, net you competitive points from playing it, as well as a big bonus of competitive points at the end of the season depending on what rank you achieve. Now again, I have to emphasize, this was completely out of left field. We did of course know about it through the sprays in the hero gallery, but most people were assuming that it would be part of this year's anniversary event, because as I said, past short-term competitive modes have all been tied to specific events, and given that last year's anniversary event introduced three new arcade arena maps, it makes sense that this new competitive arena map game mode would be part of Anniversary once again. But no, Blizzard is going to be doing things a bit differently once again, and it's going to be completely independent of any event whatsoever. Although, of course, it is starting during the Archives event, which seems a bit strange. You think Blizzard would be worried about this new competitive mode and the current PvE modes competing over players. However, then again, maybe they introduced it now because they knew a lot of people would be paying attention to Overwatch thanks to the Archives event. So either Either way, it's a pretty strange thing to just suddenly get out of nowhere, and it really kind of makes you wonder why Blizzard is doing this. Why introduce a new short-term competitive season at all? Well, I think it's safe to say that they're doing this as a way to sort of provide competitive points to people who want to get the golden guns but aren't necessarily invested in the game enough that they would actually want to be playing the normal competitive mode. Competitive mode is where a lot of people take the game very seriously, so if you have people who are much more casual and still want to get those golden guns for their favorite heroes, it's not really a good idea for those people to be going into the standard competitive mode. But if you have these limited time sort of secondary competitive modes, then that's a good place for those more casual players to go. I think overall this will be at least a little beneficial to competitive mode overall. This will be the third short-term competitive mode that's been experimented with, I guess you could say. So we'll just have to see how this one plays out. I have yet to try it out personally, but if you have tried it, then let me know your experience so far down in the comments below. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. Also be sure to leave down in the comments your thoughts about Blizzard doing this in general. Are you excited to be getting more short-term competitive seasons? Or do you think it's just kind of strange that they're trying this? Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications to both help out my channel and keep up with all my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.